Hey y'all, what's up? It's Kimberly here with a special guest, my mother, Sandra. And she has been here with me for the past three weeks and we went to Prague, we went to Vienna, Paris, Hamburg, Berlin, Munich. So <laughs> she's gotten quite a bit of taste for European countries and what Germany is like. So I have a few questions that y'all gave to me to ask my mother, so I'm doing the answer here, especially because I don't want to get German stared at by um, one of the comments okay. that I received. So we're doing those questions and answers, questions and answers. So we're doing those questions mm -hmm. and answers. All right, so the first round of questions that we have is coming from Marcel. Hey Marcel, Hi, what Marcel. is up? Even my mom knows you at this yes, point. Yes, I know you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let me find the questions. All right, so question number one. Does the cold weather here in Europe make your mom homesick? Well, whenever I arrived, I loved it. I was enjoying it. But now I'm leaving tomorrow already and I'm so grateful. I had it. I had enough of this weather. I'm going back to Texas. Where we are weird over there. We can wear shorts for Christmas. It just depends. You know, one clothes, summer clothes. I don't know how it's going to be this year, but I'm happy to go back home. Yes. So my mom, the first day she got to Prague, my mom gets hot flashes all the time. The first day in Prague, she was like, oh, this is so nice. I love this. Especially because if you're from Texas, you really get excited about the cold weather. And for my mom, I think it was a mixture of being in cold weather in Europe that she was so excited about it. Um, and now I think she's at the point where it's the end of her trip and she's tired of Europe and she wants to go home. I just wanna go home. And <laughs> she's tired of the cold weather, so. Yes. All right, does she live in an Airbnb while she's in Germany? She's living, she's staying with me at the apartment here. Yeah. In so Germany. She and, just answer. Yeah. In the other yeah. places we stayed at Airbnb and, and hotels. hotels. And so it, it has been very nice. We were in nice places and everything and it has been nice. So basically, if you want to hire me to be your personal tour guide, comment down below. Hit me up. You know, in my Instagram, Kim Crosses Borders. Instagram, Kim Crosses Borders. We'll talk later. She's the girl for this job. Yes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> she is good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. This question's really funny. Who cooks for your dad while he's home alone? Well, there's no difference because when I'm home, I don't cook either. So <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> so what we talked about the other night too was how like. Um, growing up when my mom would make dinner for me and for her, like she would cook, but like my dad would never really eat her dinner. My dad's really strange, like he just makes his own sandwiches and just eats that for well, dinner. He eats the food too, but he's happy with his sandwiches and I don't have to worry about cooking for him at all because he's good. I don't I don't have to cook. Yeah. I'm fine. But I do cook though. I, I had to cook for me. Because I like to eat healthy, so. Will there be a vlog about your trip to Paris? Yes, there will be. And it was a cool adventure. My mom was really, really sad on the first day because oh she thought that we weren't going to be able to see the Eiffel Tower because we were on the other side of the city and there were strikes happening. So mm -hmm. the, a lot of the metros were closed. But we got to see it and everything. It was Went. beautiful. It was beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. My mom won't stop talking about Paris, unfortunately. Okay, you want me to talk about Paris? <laughs> <laughs> I loved it. That was my dream, and it came true. That was my dream, it was Paris. Okay, what was your favorite thing about Paris? Yeah. The tower! <laughs> of course! I think the tower is like, it's just one of those things that you grow up seeing in movies and everything mm -hmm. like that. Um, and then when you see it in real life, it's like, mm. oh my gosh, especially when it's twinkling, it's really cool. Exactly. That's when it's really nice. When the lights are on and it's twinkling and whatever, yeah. doing all this thing, it's beautiful. 
I cried. I was like all emotional. I was like, <laughs> it, it was beautiful. It was beautiful. Yeah. So Paris isn't my favorite city. It's not. I know, I but to. I loved it. I'm in love with Paris. And I love, of course, Germany. I love it. I love it. That's a good lead in to some questions that I have here. <laughs> so somebody asked, flight plan number 10 asked, uh, so what do you like about Germany? I don't know everything. Just the history of it, you know, everything. I, I don't know what to say. I mean, did you I, like like um like I love the castles, I love the churches, I love the buildings, I love just the history of it, you know? Everything. I just I love it. I really love it. Yeah. I think it's very interesting. Yes, I love it. Nice. Cool. What do you not like about Germany? What I don't like? Well, I don't know. I don't know what to say about that. You know what's pretty funny is that this is the most quiet I've ever heard my mom talk. Usually she's so loud and then you put a camera on her and she's well, you quiet. Should, well, maybe if I have some wine, you know? You that want wine right now? No. <laughs> I'm leaving early in the morning. So, no, I cannot have any drinks. Uh, I don't know. I really... Mm -hmm. I like it. But what did you not like about Germany? I don't like... Mm, well, I don't like riding the... U-Bahn. The public transportation. U-Bahn. U-Bahn. Trump, whatever you call him. I had never done it before, so th this was my first time. It was a big experience and I didn't like it because I used to have my own car. Whenever I go somewhere, I get in my car and get it over with. I do my own thing. So yeah, I didn't like being in, you know. But this is not just about Germany though. Other places you yeah. go and, and they use the public transportation and I'm just not used to it. That's what's going on. So, yeah, I didn't like that. But even then, it's pretty car, cool how, as a tourist, you can come and easily yes. access everywhere. No, yes, yes, uh -huh. Yeah, I think it's very convenient. I mean, it's, I mean, it's real good to have a transportation, really. Yeah. It's just me, because I'm so used to have my car. And, you know, not getting here first, then take another transportation, go here, go there. Oh, no, it's just too much. That's a fair point. What else? Did you not like about Germany? Um, or anything else? Well, like sometimes people are a kind of rude. <laughs> yeah. So true. yeah, and everybody like people here can be a face. bit more serious. Yeah, they don't smile, but I like some people smile. I smile at them. Yeah, my mom would smile, smile at people, and they would be like, "Who's this crazy?" They person? smile back, so. <laughs> Was there anything that was like a really big culture shock for you? Like that was maybe paying for the bathroom? <laughs> what do you mean? Like a culture shock. Like? Like something that you were just really like, what? That's how it works around here? What? Oh, um, <coughs> maybe the way people were drinking in the streets? Oh, well, yeah, yeah. Like how people drink on the street. I mean, we don't do that. We just don't do that. The police, you know, will get yeah. you and take you to jail or whatever. <laughs> but here, it's like you can drink on the street. It was cool. I did it too, just one time. I'll insert okay. the video here. Was there a video? Yeah. I don't know. Maybe, <laughs> maybe there was. I'm pretty sure I did. Yeah, you did. I don't know. We were yeah, all kind of Yeah, you did. I told drinking. you. Hey! You should videotape me right now. But so I'll insert that clip here so y'all can see my mom drinking wine. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. So that was kind of cool to do. I mean, but I just did it once just to have this the experience because I was almost done with my yeah. glue vine. What did you think about Christmas markets? Do you want the truth or you want me to lie? No, the truth, oh, obviously. Okay. <laughs> so Christmas, I was all excited about Christmas markets here and everything, but I'm very disappointed because I wanted to see more lights. I saw a lot of Christmas tree without lights at the Christmas market and I didn't like that. Look, 
No Christmas lights. I'm not the one. What is? What's up with that? I was very disappointed. But I saw some cute ones. I mean, they were cute and everything, but I was expecting more, more lights, more, 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 more lights. That's it. That's all I can say. More lights. Because I didn't like the fact that they had Christmas tree, trees like all over the place and no lights. To me, that was sad. It was depressing. So I didn't like that. But she liked the glue vine. But I love glue vine, yes. Oh and which God. one was your favorite Christmas market? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, just because the lights and the colors and everything, you know which one it is. I'm going to answer it a little, not <laughs> flip after this. <laughs> That's not a Take your mom here. up to that tree. Okay, but do you like this tree oh, over here? Oh. Mommy. Uh -huh. Do you like this tree over here? That's a cute tree. Do you think this tree is cute? It's beautiful, I think. Better than Munich. No, but do you really like it? Look at the look at the stem. Yeah, I I think it's beautiful. <laughs> I think so. What? Look at the stem. Yeah, look at the stem. What is that? What is that? It's what I'm thinking. What is that? That looks like weird. What is that? What? What is that? What is it? No way. <laughs> That's what it is. Oh my gosh. What? I didn't know that's what it was. Oh my god, holy moly. Oh my god. Okay. Oh my god, okay. Okay. Oh no. Oh my god. I didn't know. What is this? <laughs> Saint Pauli. Um, yes. All right. So then I got other questions that are actually not related to Germany. I was surprised that I got asked quite a bit of questions that are not related to Germany, just traveling in general. So, what is the best thing about having a globe trotting daughter? So, the best thing about having a daughter that travels a lot. Well, she was just like amazing. Oh my gosh. She knows what to do. She's a good tour guide right here. She was excellent. Excellent. I mean like she planned the, she planned my whole trip, okay? Like when I was in Houston all the way to here. I mean she planned the whole thing. And it has been wonderful. I've been enjoying it and she's just so good. She knows what to do. She knows where to go. She knows what to take. I mean, like everything. She's perfect. Real good. Amazing. Amazing. What can I say? I mean, and I feel sorry for her because that was a lot of work for her, you know, trying to take but me it was so all fun. over the place. I went to four countries in three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> so she did an amazing job. All right, what is the worst part about having a daughter that travels so much? That she's away from home. I want her home. That's it. That's the worst part. <laughs> All right. What countries have I talked a lot about that I like? I talk a lot about them because I really love them that you would like to also visit? Well, I know you love Germany. Yeah. You love Germany, and also you say Turkish. You love Turkey, Turkish, yeah. or Turkey, <laughs> saying Turkish, whatever, Turkey. And, um, what about Italy? I don't really Italy, talk no, about Italy no. super a lot, though. Oh, it, you know, like, you talk about Asia, all, the, all of that. Yeah, because I just went there, I think, Yeah. Too. I think so, my big one right now is Turkey. I talk a lot yeah, about Turkey. Yeah, Turkey, uh -huh. And you want to visit? Yes, I would love to. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I think that's yeah, yeah. I love turkey. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can't wait for y'all to see my turkey videos. We have a 
quite a few. Can't wait to see it. Yeah. 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 All right. So these questions are, well, it's one question. This question is from Aaron. Aaron? <laughs> yeah. So Aaron asked, does your mom feel better about you traveling now that she has seen for herself how you live and travel in different places? Well, I would say that, yeah, that I feel more comfortable. I'm a little bit more relaxed now that i seen, you know, where you are and everything. I see that because I always think the worst, you know, I see you like walking and going to a... Uh, bus or whatever you're going i feel i just imagine the worst thing but now that i done it i'm more relaxed i am so nice mm -hmm. just wait until i go to where somalia no see then Saudi Arabia. No, 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 syria no, north no. korea yeah, north no. Korea. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> public transportation no. in north korea <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. What other questions should we have? Did you like German food? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I really liked everything that I've eaten, you know. I'm just a little picky because I don't eat the spicy food, but I love cheeses. I mean, you know, I cannot have sandwich every day, no. <laughs> but, but I love but I love the food. And my mom yeah. has a sensitive stomach, so she yeah. couldn't eat like a lot of the German sausage. So no. worst was a big no for her. Mm -mm. So I think that was a lot of hard. Can't. I tried it and it was delicious and I wanted to eat the whole thing, but I just can't do it. So. Which one of the German cities did you like the most? You went to Munich, Berlin, and Hamburg. And Potsdam. Yeah. And Potsdam, yes. Well, I think, I think I like Berlin a lot. I think Munich is pretty and I like it, but no, I'll stay with Berlin. Yeah! I really like Berlin a lot. Yes. Mm -hmm. Berlin is cool. Mm -hmm. There's always something. And happening. I like Hamburg. Hamburg was beautiful too. It was beautiful, but I don't know. I don't know. I like yeah. Berlin. I don't know. Berlin is cool. Mm -hmm. But everything is beautiful, though. I mean, it's hard to say really which one or whatever because everything is beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I don't know what to say. It's just amazing. Okay. I have to ask you two questions. Number one question. Do you think that this is a big credit card culture? No! It's cash! 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 They just want cash! So, that's all I have to say. If you don't have cash, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> you better go to an ATM and get some cash. Because otherwise you won't eat. Okay. <laughs> Question number two. Do you think that Germans stare? Yeah, they do. <laughs> yeah, they do. They do. Yes. And that's something like Germans yes. are like, oh, the Americans have that sensitivity, but I personally haven't noticed this as much in other countries. Yeah. In other European countries even. Like yeah, I they do. do. They do. Germany. They do stare a lot. Yeah. yeah. Did you enjoy Europe? Yes! Yes, I did tremendously. Yes, I did. All right, guys. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you want to see more content, more vlogs with my mom coming soon, then subscribe to my channel. Hit the like button. Subscribe. Subscribe. And leave a comment down below. Do you have any more questions for my mom? Subscribe. 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 Yes. See y'all later. Ciao, cheers. Bis dann. Bis dann.